What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So USA Inspired Fragrances reached out to me and wanted to see if I wanted to check out some of their newer offerings. I haven't done a collaboration with them in a while. For those of you not familiar, USA Inspired does just that. Inspired Fragrances is some of the more popular stuff out there that includes some very expensive stuff, some elusive stuff, and some discontinued stuff. So I picked out five fragrances that are personal favorites and one that's just really, really, really expensive. And I wanted to see if there's an affordable inspired option that does the trick for it. It's a very expensive fragrance. So we've got five in particular that we're gonna check original versus the inspired fragrance and see just how close and which ones you should maybe consider checking out down in their website down below. Again, uh, I'm gonna say what I feel. We're gonna compare, so stay tuned. So we're gonna have some fun here because Le Beau Le Parfum is one of my personal favorite fragrances. It's my favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance. Here, I actually only requested a 2ML. They sent me a big bottle. So we're gonna do a full package giveaway at the end of this video. I forgot to mention that because I have the originals to all of these. So all of the fragrances we're looking at here is gonna be a prize pack for one lucky winner at the end. So stay tuned for that. But this is the beauty. The perfume is the name of it inspired by Lavola Parfum. This is a 30 ml. A lot of fragrance juice. So let's give it a spray and see just how close two good sprays of the original. And then we're going to check out the inspired fragrance and give that two sprays. Actually do three. What the hell? So left hand, inspired, right hand, original. So wedding ring hand, inspired, non-wedding ring hand original sweet synthetic sweet fruity tropical powdery just God, so good love this fragrance always have Ooh, this is heavier on the coconut this is a lot more coconut very coconut forward take on la bola parfum like a lot it overshadows any pineapple that might be in there. I don't get a hit, big hit of pineapple. I get a big dose of coconut. But it's a very fresh, like, watery-like coconut. It's not like coconut milk or real creamy or anything. Not a heavy sunscreen vibe, at least not on the paper. There's a little bit of fruitiness hanging out underneath, but it's not like a 50-50 combo like the original where I get just as much pineapple as I do coconut. With the inspired one, it's much more about the coconut. It's much more of a twist. Inspired, not a clone. Not as powdery. I do smell the tonka. I get a little bit of greenery to it though, but it's very fresh. Doesn't have the soapy floral tone of the original. It's not soapy. Whereas I get that soapy, like the um, the iris that they use in here, I find more of a soapy floral than it is like an earthy type of iris or mega powdery iris because I think the iris note that they use and the tonka bean kind of play hand in hand with the powder on the original. Whereas here, I feel like it's more of coconut, coconut aquatic, fresh green, and tonka bean. Whereas this is not as much of a aquatic coconut, but coconut fruit, because you get all of that pineapple, a little bit of green floral, green, green and floral, and then you get the tonka bean, where I feel like this is a bit more balanced. This is more dominant with specific notes and accords. Like this is very coconut forward, like much more. Now, this floral tone is starting to come out more. It smells like a different type of iris oil, if it is indeed iris, but there's a, a different type of flowery smell to it. It doesn't make it lean all that feminine or anything. It's, it, they're not, one's not more feminine than the other, at least in how I'm taking it anyways. Yeah, I feel like this is so much more fruity and that's the biggest difference that I get here. Like it's a big difference. I would say this is like 65, 70% of Le Bola Parfum 
on the test strip. If anything, it makes this much less synthetic. The Inspired Fragrance, I find, is less synthetic than the original. It doesn't have kind of that sharp chemical smell to it that even though I love Le, Le Parfum, there's no denying just how synthetic it is. That's not here. This is a smoother coconut, watery aquatic, a little fresh green. I'm getting a bit of this flowery smell starting to come in, and I do get that tonka bean sweetness. Again, I'm going to say it's like 70% the same fragrance because the balance here is very different from Le Beau Le Parfum. Some may deem that a good thing. Some may be, oh, I wanted a carbon copy, so that's why I'm explaining it to you how I interpret it. On the test strip, they are, it is not a one-to-one -one copy. It is much more inspired by, hence the name. They're called inspired fragrances, uh, more so than trying to be a one-to-one -one copy of. It's not a copy. You can definitely tell it's in the very same vein, but walking a parallel path, not the same path, if that makes sense. Like they're, they're walking next to one another. They're not on the same path. I don't think it's too redundant to have both. It's redundant, but not too redundant. I like it. If I'm throwing a rating on it, I'm going to give it like an 8 out of 10 because I just really love coconut. Next, we have another spring and summer favorite of mine. This is Zerzhov's Renaissance. Beautiful mint, watery citrus. And here we have a 2ml of their inspired version. This is called Talkative. So we're going to see what's what between the two. Let me grab some test strips. And we shall compare. So it's going to be the same thing where the original is going to be in my right hand every time. We'll give it two good sprays of the original in the right hand. And then we're going to give two sprays of the 2ml. Actually, we'll do kind of two and a half the way that shook out. But here we go. Inspired. Original. Fresh, watery, green. So bright. Juicy, juicy yellow citrus. Ooh, very much the same effect in opening. Yeah. Ooh, that opening's close. That opening's close. Yeah. The biggest difference here is I find there's a little bit of a quality difference. Like the citrus smells a little bit more realistic in Zerzhov versus the USA Inspired, but that's pretty much, that's all that comes to mind when I'm sniffing them. They are very similar. This actually, the Inspired one might actually be a little bit more minty. Yeah, I think it is. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is like 90%. Yeah, this is up there. 90, 95 Let's call it 90 plus. And start, instead of trying to pinpoint a percentage, let's go 90 plus percent accurate, meaning it's very close. Yeah, I get just as much sharp, juicy yellow citrus, all the minty green tones, but actually I get a bit more mint out of Talkative, the inspiration, over Renaissance, the original. This is an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, Talkative. It's a good one. Now for that super expensive fragrance I was talking about. This is Raja Parfum's Diaghilev. Even from discounters, it's well over $600. Retail is above $1,500 USD. I rarely wear this. This is an amazing, super complex, gorgeous, ambery fragrance. But here we have a 15 ml. It's called Diversity. Their inspiration of Diaghilev. I've been wanting to see if I can find something kind of close to Diaghilev because I can't wholeheartedly recommend Diaghilev to most people because, you know, it was sent to me by the brand and I'm very honored and privileged and thankful that they sent it to me for me to have this amazing experience. But I don't spend this kind of money on one fragrance. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought it, you know. I would love to have the experience. I would have loved to have gotten a small decant so I could get the experience. I'm all about having the experience with these. Um, but... Yeah, so if I can find an alternative that gets kind of close, I'd love to talk about it with you guys. So here we go, two sprays of the original. God, beautiful sprayers. Raja Parfums, he, just, he does it right, guys. He really does. So let's check out Diversity, see what it's working with. Big sprays on this one, big, big sprays. 
All right, once again, original in this hand, inspired in this hand. Diaghilev, diversity. I believe it's clove that gives me that darker spicy tone. It's ambery, full of spice. There's fruits in here. There's so many notes. I don't even, I couldn't tell you the note breakdown. There's 30, 30 or so notes in here. Pretty close on first sniff. That excites me. Not as spicy, but still has that dark spice to it. This one's much, this one's very animalic. That's the biggest difference. This isn't as animalic. It's pretty much just as warm and spicy and dark, but it doesn't come across as animalistic. And that's probably, again, due to the quality of the raw materials used in this very expensive fragrance versus this inspired fragrance. God, it's been a while since I smelled Diaghilev. I forgot how good this fragrance is. It's an experience everyone should have that's really into perfume. Yeah, it's, it's totally worth having. And I got to say, just upon this early sniffing, I think you get 80%, maybe even a little bit better close in the experience of the opening here. That's the biggest takeaway for me is this is a lot more animalistic than the Inspired Fragrance. But the profile overall, the nuance is pretty similar. It's warm, it's spicy, it's rich, it's got an airiness to it, though it's very thick at the same time. Like it's between the actual composition, the way it was blended, the quality of the oils, it's just Diaghilev's a masterpiece. It really is. It's special, super masculine too. Elegant, classy, showstopper, wear it to a special occasion. And diversity gives me that same feel when I smell it. I mean, very much gives me that same feel. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one. More so than I was with Renaissance because this is one that, man, it's just such, a, the, the original's so expensive. It's, look, it's not marketed for everyone. I'm going with like 80% or better. I think it's another one. It's like an 8.5 out of 10 because this is another situational type of issue because I, I visualize my everyday life. Where am I going to wear this, you know? And I hardly ever, I've worn Diaghilev like twice. The same thing would go with the Inspired Fragrance, you know, it's the rarest of occasions. If I really want to pull out something special for a certain occasion, Diaghilev would be that fragrance. And USA Inspired, they, they locked it down pretty close. I think 80% is me being kind of modest here, honestly. But I'm going to go with an 8.5 out of 10. This is a great inspiration. It did really good. Now for one of those discontinued fragrances I requested. When I saw they had it, I said, yeah, I got to do it because I just paid way over retail for an old batch discontinued version of Lamal Essence. Essence de Parfum. Lamal Essence de Parfum. This is the old purple juice with the gold atomizer. The last version before they discontinued it was a light blue juice with a silver atomizer, which I had a decant. I still have a few ml of. I had a decant of. Um, this is beautiful, warm, spicy, leathery. And then here we have a 30 ml called The Male Essence, inspired by Lamal Essence, Lamal Essence, which is Essence de Parfum. So, super eager to see what's what here, because I paid $220 before taxes on this bottle. And some of you would go, oh, I would never do that. How bad do you want it? Value is individualized in every situation. And while I wouldn't spend $220 on other designers that have been discontinued, I wanted this one bad enough, so I was willing to pay it, because the longer you wait after it's discontinued, the worse the price gets. So we're going two sprays here. Put that to the side there. And let's grab, make sure I grab the right one. Get two sprays. Okay, so again, original in the right hand, inspired in the left hand. Let's see how close they got to what I deem to be such a phenomenal discontinued gem of a fragrance. Because I've seen people online compare Essence de Parfum to CH Men Privé. Sure, if you take the booze away and enhance the leather, totally get it. Totally get it. I see where they're coming from. I think this is better than CH Men Privé. I have CH Men Privé as well. Love that too. 
But this is a better fragrance to me personally. So much more leather forward. This smells like the blue batch. Like it's slightly freshened up more about the cardamom, I believe is what the spice is, but still has that rich leather accord. The inspiration, I mean, the juice color is even similar. It smells like the newer batch before it got discontinued. Yeah. I could have just got this. I'm not saying I still didn't want that bottle, but I could have just got this. Because I love Essence de Parfum. I love the way it smells. Yeah, the, the original, this, this is the old batch style that I have the original of, which is more leather forward. It's known to be, it definitely is. You lighten that leather accord a little bit, enhance the spice, you get the newer version before I got discontinued with Blue Juice, and that's what the inspired one is. 90%. I'm going to go 90 plus percent again on this one. This is, just get this. Don't spend 220 like I did. Just get this. <laughs> it's uncanny. Yeah. That's how I relate it. It's the newer version of this. Yeah, this is a little heavier. More leather, less leather, a little lighter, a little bit spicier. That's the difference in the two real batches, the original batches of the old one versus the last version before they discontinued it, and it's the exact same setup here. 90 plus percent, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, because it's discontinued. It's way overpriced from resellers. I paid way too much. I did. It was a stupid move. Shouldn't have did it. But to each their own when it comes to perceived value, right? That's one I was willing to spend the money on. I wanted it badly enough. It's only a few weeks ago that I bought that. Had I tried this first, maybe I wouldn't have. I don't know. Because I still have a few ML of the blue batch that I could have compared it to that it so reminds me of. Yeah, 90 plus percent, nine out of 10. So this last one's got some big shoes to fill because the last two, I mean, all four have been really good, but the last two were like, they nailed it. Amouage Enclave, one of the best mint fragrances ever, in my opinion. One of my favorite from Amouage. Here we have 2ML of their version, and it is called Territory. So let's see what Territory is working with. Two sprays of the original. Put that there. And then we're going to go two sprays out of the decant of Territory. Okay. Again, original in this hand, inspired in this hand. <sighs> that bright spearmint oil. I'm telling you, if you want an intense mint experience, quality stuff, Enclave. It's a ridiculously strong fragrance on my skin. I got to be very careful when I wear it around my wife. Even one spray overwhelms her if we're going to be in the car for a while. Because the first time I wore it, I wore four sprays, and she was like, I, she kept like having to roll the window down. It was suffocatingly strong to her. Intense mint, you know? Oh, so good, though. God, Enclave doesn't get enough love. It really doesn't. So good. Slightly lighter version. Same intense mint spearmint opening. Has the Orientals, the frankincense, that heavy frankincense. It's the smoky spearmint is kind of the way I've always looked at Enclave, both of these have it going on. Oh, it's very similar. USA Inspired, they're doing some good work here. I got to say, it's been a while since I've smelled any of their work. I mean, probably two years, close to two years. I'm going 90% plus again. The opening... The opening is, anyways, do they dry down the same? I don't know. This would be a very long video. I don't think I have enough storage space on my phone because I'm having to use my phone right now because I had some capture card issues. I had to purchase a new one, so I haven't been able to use my usual setup. Those of you who have been watching the last couple of days probably noticed it's a little different than having to use my phone because my camcorder is not able to, my capture card is not working. So I had to buy a new one. It'll be here in a couple of days. 
90 plus percent. Like I, it's hard to tell a difference really other than this is a little bit lighter. And I mean, that's me looking for something. I'm trying really hard to find a difference here. A richness. That's, that's pretty much it. There's a richness difference here. I mean, quality, obviously. Amouage is going to be a little higher quality here. Just like with the Amouage and the Zerzhoff. Because they're not designers. They, they use higher quality raw materials. 90 plus percent. I'm going to go 8.5 out of 10 with this one as well. Believe it or not, the least accurate was Le Beau Le Parfum. That's the least accurate of the bunch. But it's a twist that I think some might appreciate if you really like coconut. You might really like the Le Beau Le Parfum inspiration because it's not one-to-one. -one. It's the least accurate of these five. Hmm. Enclave. They nailed it. Okay, then. So we got a prize pack. And one thing I do want to touch on, they did send this. I didn't ask for it. This is the Le Beau Le Parfum body oil, which I do have on my hand. And it's very coconut forward like the fragrance. This is a pure oil with a roller ball. Just wanted to touch on it. They do do the, these different body oils. Um, I'm keeping that. <laughs> I'm going to keep this. Just wanted to show you guys that they do have these body oils. Love that frosted blue glass, by the way. But the prize pack, what are you going to get? Let me go over everything first. This is the male essence inspired by the mall essence de parfum. It's a 30 ml. You get a one ounce bottle of that. A one ounce bottle of the very coconut forward inspiration of Lobola Parfum, a 15 ml of their inspiration of Diagolev, then you get 2 ml of their inspiration of Zerzhoff Renaissance, and 2 ml of their inspiration of Amouage Enclave. So, one lucky winner is going to get all of that. So, what do you have to do? First, you have to like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, and comment down below TLTG, send me the pack. I'll have it on screen. That prize pack is going to go to one lucky winner in continental United States only. It is open for continental United States subscribers only. I'll leave it open for about seven to 10 days, depending on the momentum it has with people still entering once we get to the seventh or eighth day. Um, I'll then close, you know, at the end of the title, put um, closed giveaway. I'll change the title at the end, and then I'll pin the winning comment heart the winning comment and reply to the winner's comment to let them know they won and to email me. Avoid. Avoid those scam profiles that are going to pop up. They pop up in giveaway videos well beyond just my channel and try to scam you guys, pull you over to Telegram and all that good stuff. Just ignore that stuff. I block them as I see them. It's not me. As long as you pay attention to this portion of the video, you won't go wrong. Uh, once again, like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, comment down below, TLTG, send me the pack. Continental United States subscribers only. And uh, one lucky winner is going to get all five of these and have a good old time with some very accurate inspirations of some phenomenal fragrances. I, I picked, I handpicked what I wanted to check out for comparison's sake because I wanted to make sure some of my favorites for different reasons that I had the originals of so we could see just how accurate these are. And they did pretty good. I'm impressed, I got to say. And uh, until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these and you give them a spray now, there's always that chance you might thank me later, but more importantly, for those of you entering the giveaway, good luck and have a good one.